you should definitely get the labs and get an ultrasound. You will see that there is a fluid collection. Drain it. It would be bilious. Then I think it's important to get a HIDA scan. HIDA scan would show that there is trickling into the gallbladder fossa. So maybe suggestive that the cystic duct stump is leaking or there is a duct of Lushka leak or an aberrant duct. Or it could be that there is complete extravasation of the contrast or there is no filling of the duodenum and there is a complete cutoff. Now all these would decide and help you decide what you want to do. For example, if it's a concerning for duct of Lushka leak or a cystic duct stump leak, you can safely imagine that this patient would need an ERCP for a sphincterotomy. If there is a bigger surgical damage, then this patient would most likely need a surgical uh, repair. Usually, they require a hepatic or jejunostomy. Before you take the patient to the operating room for a hepatic or jejunostomy, it's very important to get a CTAA of the abdomen because you never know while they were injuring the bile duct, they may have also injured the blood supply, namely the hepatic artery to the liver. We need the hepatic artery for a patent hepaticojejunostomy. So it's a very important study to have preoperatively.